everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Hello, everybody. We're going to be talking about Doki Bird today because that's the big news that we got today of Doki Bird having her new skin suit showing and the looks are uncanny of course her looks don't actually have those eyes but if they did it would definitely be taking back the crown it is i believe correctly you can correct me if i'm wrong in the comments it has been verified by her that it is basically her mama selen mama that, that she got to make this for her you can see the uncanny resemblance of absolutely everything that the whole design of it it looks very basically the same i like how doki maneuvers during the selen firestorm very clever all hail the holy long neck and she also does have a uh a toggle for the long neck continuing on scarred but unbowed unbent unbroken she has scars there and i'm pretty sure those scars are it may be reading too much into it but they may be something that she is kind of saying yes there's scars that she has but she's unbroken she is moving forward she is being the strong doki that we know and strong selen slash doki that we know and love i already caught up on the lore because i came late is this a reference to the bandaged claw or a testament to her survival of the incident paper assuming survived for two attempts um could be both could be a little bit of both could be the bandaged claw could be you know because she's a bounty hunter there's a lot of danger in bounty hunting could be if it is that reference it is a survivor's reference of course you can't you can read into it as much as you want it could easily just be, you know, that that because she's a bounty hunter, uh, she's gotten hurt by the people that she's tried to get bounties of before. But this could be just a, a, a subtle nod to the two attempts and the fact that she survived both. And here are the screenshots that we all want to know. Of course, screenshots are the things that people want to know right now. And here we go. We all said yeehaw and unity. Exactly. This is her face. This is she has a lot. She has the aviators. She has winking. She has smug look. She has everything she has the the kind of like dead eye deadpan eyes and uh she also has over here the winks you can change eye colors you can change all these things it's just it's great it's really good she even had she had a lore video involved in it she had uh kind of an apex uh legend style lore video where this was a uh a suit that you bought like you can buy an age of apex legends for you know the cosmetics it was that cosmetic you could buy for her live reaction down here is just the dead the dead eyes the dead eyes and of course it is i just want to show this to you guys because of course i am so glad she's back she has a height a case she has a bunch of things happening this is good stuff for her here is what doki bird showed as one of the wonderful things that she has for uh a reward for everybody that, that, is, that has been waiting something that height has done for her because we know height pretty much got rid of nizi sanji when they uh when you know, Doki Bird was, uh, Selen was unceremoniously terminated from where they were. In Nidhi Sanji now, you have no height cases, but Doki Bird has got her height case within a year of being, within actually four months of being uh, terminated from the last company. And here we have a better look at it, a little bit closer look. You have her, you know, holding, sh shooting the pew pew. On one side, you have Doki Amber Doge, or dad as she calls it. And then you have in the front, a chibi Doki, with both eyes the red and the blue it is amazing i'm just very glad that she's getting this uh of course people are going to be buying this in droves people are already trying to save money for this height case we love doki and dragoons i buy power so much fun working on this doki so cool and she does have the long neck uh <laughs> the toggle for her long neck this is the legacy there's a legacy that they leave there it's going to be great it's a great legacy of course just positive news here. People here are a little bit uh, angry at the fact that Mr. Underhill, because Mr. Underhill just does positive news stories on Nidhi Sanji, just moves and moves and moves and does positive news stories on Nidhi Sanji. I understand wanted to spread positivity, but you also have to realize there are negative sides to every company. I've mentioned it about Hololive. I mentioned it about, you know, Face Connect and all the other ones. There's got to be small, small areas where they're not good. Like Idle Yen didn't do well with Pochi Wanmaru and other people. It's just that there are going to be bad sides of every company because they're run by human beings. And in this one, it's basically people are saying, of course, if you DS, uh, Nidhi Sanji, you're going to get a collab. He's getting a collab with Fulger or down here. Uh, Monster 
Prom collab with Mr. Underhill. If you can't read it, I'll just read it for you. It's with Mr. Underhill over here on uh, this Wednesday, I believe it is. It says Wednesday. So that's when he's going to be doing it with Mr. Underhill. And it says, surprise, basically. Ignore Underhill. The guy is just, there's no war in Boxing Say manifested into VTuber Avatar. I heard they were friends before Fogart got into Niji. Him being so diehard for Niji would make sense if that is true. Of course, those are all accusations and rumors and stuff like that. So we don't know. Is that night mindset the legal part of the collab? I uh, didn't know he started doing VTube related stuff. Uh, night mind. Uh, ain't no way. I've been obsessed with uh, for years. I have noticed no notifications for the vid, so it may not be true. Two sides to this. Underhill was friends with Fulger before debut. Pretty sure he has a role in his role video, in his, his lore video. So on the other hand, he does seem to be Niji leaning with how he handles the news and the drama. In his video where he reports Raz was given a cease, cease and desist, the comments were praising Niji for taking care of that creep. Uh... Even if he wants to be neutral, not taking a stance or for or against DG, that seems to allow a dumb minority to be the loudest. Yeah, I try to be a little bit of both. Like, I have shown when Nidhi Sanji has had good sides, good things happen. I've shown when Nidhi Sanji has had bad things happen. Of course, the ones that are most popular for me, the ones that, that most people see, are when Nidhi Sanji does bad things. But I try to put both in there because I try to be as objective as I can. Although right now, there aren't very many good things that are happening in Nidhi Sanji, unfortunately. And of course, continuing the interesting things that happened with uh, chat AI of uh, YouTube's little AI chats, uh, summarizing bots, whatever you want to call it. They're definitely having interesting situations there, as I will show you right now. It says, Ilira Pandora debuted for on YouTube today. It's a new virtual speaking talent liver under the VTuber agency Nidhi Sanji EN. Viewers are reacting positively to her debut stream. What? YouTube, you're drunk. Live chat. People are excited and, and getting ready to watch the debut of Hololive English's newer, <laughs> newest member, Elizabeth Illyra Pandora, a British VTuber. <laughs> what the heck is going on with YouTube? YouTube, go home. You're kind of drunk. It just seems like that. What the heck? It, did someone accidentally put Illyra Pandora in the in the YouTube things or saying it's better than Illyra Pandora? I don't know. We have another one. Chat is buzzing with excitement for the upcoming collaboration between our four Hololive members, ERB and Alouette. CC, Calliope Mori, GG, Gura, and PP Petragurin. Holy crap, YouTube. What the heck? <laughs> this is just insane. Viewers from different time zones and countries are tuning in to support their favorite talents and speculate about, speculate about the content of the collaboration. What the heck is going on with YouTube? What I saw minutes before the Justice Collab starts, it's so wrong. God, these chat summaries are the Gemini search telling people to eat rocks. It just screams the fact Google's AI approach is nothing but our competitors have AI, so we need it too. They clearly have no idea what they're doing. Gemini is easily the worst AI out of the bunch, and get and yet they just keep shoving it down everyone's throats, pretty much. Just an edit, right? There's no way this is real. It is actually real. In fact, for fellow, fellow members, it's probably because some people were calling Elizabeth Ely, Eli, and Rose, and live chat messages at the time, AI did the best to figure out which info is more prominent to associate such terms. Fortunately, it included Ellie, which is uh, probably referring to Elira, Rose, which is Rosemi, connected the dots and it figured out, yeah, AI is just, AI is just being drunk. AI is just being weird. Weird AI. You gotta love it. The new generation of Hololive keeps on winning. They are already, Elizabeth has already, as shown here, gotten to 214k subs and the rest after just a day of debut, a day or two of debut, they are going to be getting to 200k very quickly. They already have guaranteed their silver play buttons. And now they're just going to be going for the gold. Or at least, you know, they're going pretty quickly, which is good. Like they said themselves, it's all on the shoulders of their senpai, all on the sholders of JP, who started, you know, getting the popularity of Hololive, making Hololive grow to the point where they wanted to do an EN thing. Then you have Kiryu Koko and Hachama, who helped spread the EN wave, like helped spread uh, the Hololive popularity to the kagai nikki the people over here like us they spread it over there and then you of course you have all of en council uh myth now pro i mean myth then council now promise myth then council now promise and now you have advent and you have this as well and of course all of indonesia who has also helped with the kagai nikki because they can speak english as well so it's helped out with all of those and it's thanks to them that they have the popularity that they have of course and they all recognize it they all have recognized it Debuts were crazy good. They filled every niche. Gamer, singer, musician, artist. Very interested to CC is going to do some programming chill streams in the future. Or if they combine their powers and some cool collab ideas. Like both GG and CC had games that you could play as the, the chat. You know, you put up, down, left, right. And it can move the actual character. They did the, the C script and all that kind of stuff. They scripted it. So 
It'll work. I have no idea how they would do that, but they scripted it so it'll work. That's what happened when they showed their skill and talent on the debut stream rather than hello guys, I'm heterophobic. A singer, bratty gamer, violinist, and an artist. Bright future for them. Heck, I'm not even surprised they get their 3D before Luxium. That would be interesting. But yes, they, they did it themselves. They brought their own uh, everything to the table and they brought their own popularity. They're the ones who gave themselves popularity. Of course, as always, I like looking at Usan, like looking at other people who are former Nidhi Sanju people, seeing what's going to go on, seeing how things are going to go and seeing how their debuts go. Let's take a look a little bit at their debut showcase, which is, you know, going to be shown here. Of course, they are, uh, they did an amazing job. Let's take a look at what they were able to do. Of course, let's take a look and see what happened, see how everything went. They did a, a full on, wow, they did a full on manga debut. Holy crap. They did a manga 3D showcase where they were, you know, popping things out. Lore through manga. Very nice. Very nice. And there you are. There's Usan right there on the right. And it looks like he got a white and a regular one. Like a, like a, a, a negative form of himself, I guess. I guess it would be like a negative form of himself. What would it be? I don't know, but it still looks very, very nice. Very, very nice. Well done showcase. A well done model. Absolutely well done model. Lovely. I mean, it's great when you could see those types of things pop out. And the fact that they did a freaking intro with a manga intro is very, very nice. Live tour with two yellow birds. That's so cute. My goodness, this is great quality. Unnamed's voice is excellent as ever. Cause of course he has an amazing, they have, they have an amazing voice. Um, Hong Kong featuring Doki Bird. Wow, they're gonna have a concert with Doki Bird. Korea live viewing featuring the couple from ARP. Another good one. Holy crap, they're do they're doing very well. They are doing extremely well. Holy crap. So I'm very happy for them doing all this wonderful stuff for themselves. And on more small VTuber news, as in smaller corpo VTuber news, Vispo is doing a Vispo EN. They announced it recently, and they're going to be doing it. They're gonna be doing it. They've announced it. It's a new challenger to Nichi EN. Not as, I mean, Hollow Live EN as well, uh, you know, Face Connect and all those. They're putting on a pretty good challenge overall. Niji will decay even more now that Vispo has Phase, our real threat. I mean, even Lure girls are getting better viewership than some Niji Livers right now. And that's because bad management. Bad control, bad management. Just Niji Sanji doesn't know what the hell they're doing. They're not doing anything proper. Niji EN, not the JP side, not yet anyways. Their EN side is basically dead. For now, Niji really over-relying on some big JP livers to keep their stuff moving. And you know, they get they get them big, the, the big numbers, of course. Brave Group already has a huge EN roster between V4 Mariah and Globy with Vox on the way. You know, just hoping that you don't cannibalize fans. That's one thing you hope that they don't do. Shock why the honor is hot. Niji's retreating from the EN front and there's a vacuum to fill for small agencies. And of course, do that while you can. I don't mark anything that negative. I don't mark this as anything negative. It's all positive for the EN sphere. For, for EN VTubing fans and EN people in general. This was a thing that Cecilia put in there, you know, supposed concert that she was going to have because of, you know, just new creative things. But it's, it's saying Cecilia predicted the future of Niji EN concert. I spit out my food the moment I read one comment saying Niji EN concert during the particular moment from the debut stream, of course. Too many people in chat uh, see to be an accurate representation. Battle did it earlier, right here. Another meme right there. All <laughs> there, uh, all dead, the party is just gone. They're just not there anymore. And the next one here is Riku Tazumi hiding in a cave somewhere in Japan. Black Hand Riku. Black Hand Riku. This is, of course, Elden Ring, uh, the new DLC, Shadow of the Earth Tree. I've heard it is pretty tough. I've heard that, uh, you know, it can be pretty tough. But yeah, yeah, Black Hand Riku over here, where you have to fight them eventually. They will kick your butt, but they're still Black Hand Riku. And in the spirit of Doki, we have over here. A Doki Bird meme. The uh, the old meme of the school bus of what happens to a school bus when a train hits. That she has regained everything they try to take from her. Now she gets to live her best life. And that is what I'm trying to push here. I'm trying to push that she's trying to live her best life. Let's let her live her best life. Let's not try to remind her of what she was. Let's try to remind her of what she is right now. The great changes she's done in the community. The great moves forward that she's done overall. And move forward with her. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.